What's going on guys? Sharpshaw here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at 25 DBD terms and phrases you need to know in Dead by Daylight. These terms I'm gonna define in today's video are gonna be part of the DBD lingo slash slang that you'll hear a lot of players use around the community. I'm gonna be going in alphabetical order and for each term, I'm gonna try and define it as easiest as possible. So even the newest players in DBD could understand these terms. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Video. When there is one generator left for the survivors to complete in the match, there's going to be three possible generators for them to complete. And a three gen is a situation where all three of those remaining gens are the closest to each other. So this makes it super easy for the killer to go to each generator and put a ton of pressure on those gens. And on the other hand, it makes it really tough for the survivors to actually make any progress on those generators. So as a survivor, you really do not want to be in a three gen situation. And as a killer, you want to go out of your way to try and force the survivors into a three gen situation a 4k is when the killer kills all four of the survivors in a match a 3k would be if they kill three of the survivors in the match and so on 99 is an action a survivor can do where they leave either an exit gate a generator or a heal whatever it may be they leave it to the 99 percent so that it's one tap away from completing whenever the action needs to be completed this is most typically used on an exit gate so that you don't actually open it and force the timer to start where you only have a certain amount of time to escape the trial instead you open it when all the survivors are back at the exit gate and nobody is hooked or any of that stuff a baby survivor or baby killer is a noob or a new survivor or killer that's brand new to dvd and they don't really know what they're doing and they're typically ranked 20 survivors or killers for you experienced players don't be too hard on the baby survivors or killers because we all started there we were all ranked 20s who had no idea what we were doing in DVD. A blend is a type of survivor who blends into the environment and typically hides and tries to stay away from the killer as far as possible, hiding in the corner of the maps and really doing nothing to help the team or complete any generators. Body blocking is a method that killers or survivors can use to block the path of another player by putting yourself in front of that player. This can be done by killers as Wraith, for example, to block a pallet or or a window so the survivor can't use it or this could be used as survivors to body block the killer while they're carrying a survivor on their shoulder to prevent them from actually hooking that survivor death hook is when a survivor is one hook away from dying so this means that they've already been hooked twice before and when they get hooked for their third time they're going to be dead face camping is when a killer stands right in front of the survivor they just hooked and do not leave the hook survivor until they're fully dead and out of the trial this is really tough Toxic, but if you're facing a face camper as survivors just keep doing gens farming has two definitions the first definition is when all players in the trials survivors and killers all collectively try and focus on getting as many blood points as possible the killer tries to help out the survivors get as many blood points as possible by letting them drop the pallets on them or doing fake chases and stuff like that and the survivor helps the killer out by giving them free hooks and stuff like that the second definition is the more common definition and is when a survivor unhooks another survivor right in front of the killer and the killer actually downs and immediately hooks the survivor that just got unhooked do not do this as a survivor unless you have the perk borrowed time gen rush is when survivors do multiple gens in a short amount of time really really quickly a jungle gym is a certain part of the map that has really good loops for the survivors and this is really hard for the killer to actually chase the survivors in a common jungle gym is a a loop that has walls that block the line of sight and also have pallets or windows or both a kobe is when a survivor successfully unhooks themselves off of the hook this is super lucky so only try on your last unhook chance when you're about to go into the struggle phase on your second hook looping is an action survivors do when they're running the killer around the map in a chase a secondary definition a god loop is a specific part of the map that is insane to loop around as a survivor and is virtually impossible for the killer to catch you in a perfect example of a god loop is the killer shack an m1 is the killer control on pc for a basic attack and an m1 killer is a killer that only uses their m1 and doesn't actually use their power or their ability a mind game is using deception or prediction tactics to fool the other side mind games are commonly used in chases to trick the other killer or survivor a common mind game for a killer is to make the survivor waste a pallet for example as you're 
chasing the survivor back up right as they're about to drop the pallet so that they waste the pallet. And on the flip side, a common mind game for survivors is to fake dropping a pallet when the killer in that situation would expect you to drop the pallet, you don't drop the pallet and you just keep looping. Moonwalk is a killer mechanic for walking backwards in a chase to trick the survivor in what direction you're actually going. This is a good tactic because if the survivor can see a red stain, which is a red light you emit in front of your body, if the survivor can see that but they can't actually see your body, they'll think you're actually going in the direction of the red stain when in reality you're actually going backwards. Patrolling is a killer strategy where the killer stays close to and roams around a group of generators, hooked survivors, or totems, or a certain part of the map for whatever reason. Pips are the ranking system in Dead by Daylight, where after every match, you're graded on how well you did in that trial, and you're given a score that is then converted into pips. And these pips allow you to actually rank up, and you need a certain amount of pips to move on to the next rank. A double pip is considered getting plus two pips after a trial. A pip is just considered getting one pip. A black pip is considered getting zero pips. And a D pip is considered getting minus one pips after a trial. The PTV or the public test build is a version of the game used by developers to test new updates, bug fixes, or patches before a major chapter or update release. Anything in the PTV isn't set in stone, so a fix you might see in the PTV might not actually make it into the full game. Sandbagging is the action of survivors targeting other survivors, going out of their way to try and get them killed by body blocking or helping the killer and try and kill them. This is super toxic, so definitely do not do this in your games. Slugging is the action of killers leaving multiple survivors in the dying state on the ground to continue chasing other nearby survivers in the hopes of eventually getting all four survivors down in the dying state on the ground. I'm slugging so hard right now, it's not even funny. Let's go, dude! All four down! Let's fucking go! Snowball is when you build up momentum that increases as the game goes on. This is kind of a figure of speech of a snowball rolling down a hill. Obviously, it'll get bigger as it keeps rolling down the hill. A perfect example of this is Oni, who is a snowball killer. His power starts off pretty slow, but once you start injuring a ton of survivors, you keep getting his main power faster and faster, and your momentum increases until you completely dominate the trial. Stacks are another word for tokens that are used in perks like barbecue and chili, and we're gonna live forever. SWF or survive with friends is the DVD mode where you queue up as survivors with your friends and you all play together. And this makes for a lot more of an enjoyable time as survivor because you get to play with your friends and you get to communicate, which makes the game a lot easier. And just a secondary definition, KYF is kill your friends. And this is a custom game mode where five of your friends get together, four of you play a survivor and one of you play as killer. Tunneling is the action of killers chasing and hooking only one survivor and ignoring all of the other survivors until that one specific survivor is dead. This is super toxic, but as survivors, if you encounter this in your trial and you're trying to get the killer to come on to you and it's not working, then just go off and do some gems. So yeah, guys, those were the 25 DVD terms you definitely need to know. For you newer players, if you encountered a term in DVD that wasn't mentioned in this video, comment it below so that either I or other people in the community can define that term for you and help you out. And maybe if there's a ton of other terms that a lot of people are asking for maybe i'll even do a part two to this video so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe for new this has been sharp and i will see you guys in the next video